Hi, this is Mike Taylor from Web-Based Recruitment and today I'm joined by Emma Fraser of Google. Hi Emma. Hi Mike. Now you're going to be speaking at the mobile conference or mobile recruitment conference on the 23rd of October which is excellent news. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give us an overview of what your role at Google and then talk about what you're going to be covering on the day? Yeah, absolutely. So my name's Emma Fraser. I'm Head of Industry for Recruitment here at Google. Uh, my role involves working with recruitment businesses to help them achieve their business and marketing objectives via digital. Uh, mobile is incredibly important to us here at Google and not least in the career sector. Um, overall on Google search, uh, we're now seeing that mobile search queries have actually grown by five times in the last year. Um, so wow. speed of growth is really accelerating and one in five of all queries on recruitment now comes from a mobile device. So it's a very, very significant part of the, the traffic that we see coming through Google. Now you so must have a lot of data then to, to, to share with us on the day. That's um, right. So that particular highlight, one in five, that must be quite scary for people that aren't mobile enabled and able to deal with those sort of queries. Absolutely. I mean, it means that, that potentially 20% of your customers arriving at your site are finding that it's difficult for them to take an action on arrival simply because the site is not adequately set up for mobile. So whether or not uh, they can search for a job, whether they have the ability to save a job, email it to themselves, or actually even navigate the site effectively, it all comes down to whether or not that site is optimised for, for the mobile experience. So it's really, really crucial. We're talking sort of significant numbers here. And a lot of people now will view, a, for example, a jobs by email on their mobile, but will end up on a site that's not mobile enabled. What do you like to say to those businesses? Because presumably they're, they're losing the goodwill of the job seeker and possibly future business. Absolutely, and one of the things that we know is that 40% of people have said that actually if they arrive on a mobile site and they have a bad experience, they will go to a competitor. Um, if you think about how people use mobiles, um, they're often multitasking, they're perhaps using downtime, personal time where they're travelling, they might be time poor. Uh, and a bad mobile experience, bad load time, inability to use the site is going to just drive them to try and find that information elsewhere. So there's a, a, there's a genuine opportunity cost to businesses of not being mobile enabled. And I know you had a recent conference to do with mobile uh, at Google here, but uh, is it fair to say that like the retail sector is way ahead of recruitment and recruitment really needs to catch up? Absolutely. I think that the retail sector understands that m-commerce is becoming an incredibly important driver. It's an opportunity for them to have their, their, their stores open for longer, if you like. If you're able to transact with people in all of those times they use their mobile devices, it, it's, it's, it, you're even more 24-hour, effectively. You can sell more. And actually, I think the same goes for businesses who aren't transactional. I think the challenge is understanding how and what to measure. And that's one of the things I'm going to be talking about on the day and how you can really track the effectiveness of your mobile activity. So I guess uh, a company that's recruiting is trying to sell a job effectively as, as opposed to a product, yeah. yeah so absolutely. The, the, the Nexus products come out uh, very recently. I mean, that's obviously one of the, the Google flagship mm -hmm. products. But the way people use mobile, it's definitely changed over the last few years. I mean, the iPhone then, was it 2007, 2008, obviously mm -hmm. changed the way that people interact on the internet. What sort of future developments do you, do you see coming down from a recruitment point of view that people need to get switched on to? Absolutely. So um, from, from Google's perspective, um, the whole Nexus range of products helps us to illustrate the potential of what is possible um, in mobile and what the Android platform is available to, able to deliver. Um, and there's a whole range of things that you can do on high-end devices that, that simply weren't possible before, whether that's using multiple media, so using video capability to be able to deliver your message about your recruitment um, uh, philosophy or about your uh, job vacancies in a new and different way, um, able to reach, uh, be, be far more targeted with who you reach, um, so understanding the, the, the ability to, to target uh, different users based on their um, profiles and their browsing behaviour and things like that, which allows you to effectively target roles. Um, and also looking at sort of the potential of uh, mobile to improve the efficiency of your advertising. Um, so one of the things that we've seen on Google is that currently cost per clicks, CPCs on uh, high-end mobile devices are about 50% of what they are on desktop. So actually incorporating mobile into your marketing strategy is an incredibly effective way of driving efficiency. I was going to say about the mobile advertising because a lot of people don't know about it. And secondly, it's the ability to really target almost by handset, is it? Can you have? You can yep. certainly, you can target by device, you yep. can target by carrier. 
carrier. There are all sorts of different opportunities that you can use. You can also target people when they're in browsing mode, so when they're in a, a search environment, but you can also target them across the mobile web, which is growing at an absolutely rapid rate right. you know, due to the, 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 the preponderance of high-end browsing devices right. um, and also the app ecosystem. So there's lots of opportunity to reach potential job seekers when they're in the app environment as well. But I guess with mobile advertising, they need to end up on a mobile enabled web page. Otherwise, <laughs> again, we're back to square one. And Absolutely. Your time and there. I think that's a really key point that ultimately, if you haven't got the ability to deliver them a decent uh, experience at the end of the day, then you're missing out on all of this opportunity to reach potential job seekers in multiple different environments. Okay. Um, but I think also uh, there's a, that, that's often seen as a, a very big barrier within organisations. Well, actually, we, we can't address the mobile opportunity because we don't have a mobile site. Right. And because we're not going to have a mobile site for another 12 months. And I think if you go back to the original point, that actually one in five of your potential audience is now searching using a mobile device, yeah. you need to think about how you can service them now, yeah. even if it's looking at short-term solutions. And those are some of the things that I'll be talking about at the conference. Fantastic. So um, we look forward to seeing you on the 23rd of October. Thank you for your time today. Look forward to and it. And see you soon. Thank you, Mike.